Yeah, well, I mean, it's all related. Uh, what The idea of going virtual to Fed policy. You remember, Kelly, the idea of an in-person Jackson Hole meeting this year always seemed risky, but there were a few brief weeks, weeks in May when it was announced it appeared the vaccine would vanquish the virus and top central banks could meet in the shadows of the Tetons to discuss the post-pandemic economy. But in a last-minute decision on Friday, amid these spiking Delta concerns, the Kansas City Fed reversed course, decided to hold the meeting virtually. Here's what I've been able to report is behind the decision. Uh, it quickly became clear this week that following the guidelines of the National Park meant not only guests but speakers would have to wear masks on Thursday. Not easy to deliver 20-minute academic speech with a mask on. Teton County upgraded its risk level to red, meaning, among other things, travel was recommended for essential purposes only. And then Fed Chair Jay Powell announced he would speak virtually rather than attend the conference, in part because of concerns for his security people that would travel with him. KC Fed spokesperson Diane Raley told me Red Status for Teton County told us we were introducing more risk to the community and our guests than we were comfortable introducing. The result, an event that might have been a symbol of a return to normal now is a symbol of a potential return to the pandemic economy. Ben Amons from Medley Global Advisors writes, the Jackson Hole event gone virtual is a strong signal to markets that central bankers are taking Delta seriously. While Fed officials earlier this month were talking about a faster timeline, at least one of those officials, Robert Kaplan of Dallas, now has said if the Delta variant starts to hurt the economy, he'd delay an earlier taper. So we're going to hear from numerous Fed officials on Thursday and Friday this week, get their views on whether the Delta variant means a tougher outlook for the economy but an easier outlook for Fed policy. That's all going to culminate, of course, on Friday morning with the keynote speech by Powell. Joe?